Hi everyone, I'm Catherine, the artist behind Bigelow Fine Arts. I'm continuing my journey through the Enchanted Forest and snapping a few pictures along the way. I'm going to have this framed in a nice red lacquer frame so it will look nice on display beside my owl picture. Come join me on my journey through the Enchanted Forest to discover the mystery that awaits in the castle at the center. Today I am working on these leaves that kind of remind me of raspberry leaves. I am coming in with a base layer of dark green over all the leaves in the group. I will also give the stem a layer as well. I decided to make these a darker leaf compared to some of the other leaves I have been working up lately. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps keep you informed of when I post new videos, as well as join in on the color alongs. I have palettes and timestamps in a Patreon post, so go check that out if you want the whole list of colors. And if you missed out on my free coloring page, be sure to check that out in the cards for some playlists, including the one to get that and color along with me. Subscribing is the best way to learn about more freebies like that. With the permanent green olive, I want to come in and add a layer over the leaves as well as block in my shadows. I'm following the line art here and only adding in the chrome green to the one side of the leaf. That side will be my shadowed side and will get more layers than the other side, which will only receive a light layer, just to keep the colors unified. And my pencil is dull, so that is why I'm not coloring for a couple of seconds. A sharp pencil fills in the paper better than a dull one. I will also fill in the vines with the olive green as well.
To up the contrast for the shadows, I come in with sepia and add in a darker line next to the central rib, but feather that out a little to better blend with the shadows out over the rest of the leaf. I also add in shadows where the leaves are overlapping. I blend out the sepia with some earth green yellowish and I add in a light layer on the other half of the leaf, but I do keep a small highlight near the center rib. I'm building up a color here and I don't want one side of the leaf to be more yellow or green than the other, so I'm building more layers on one side than the other. This keeps both sides looking like they are similar in color while still having shadows and dimension to the leaf. I want these leaves to look like they are curled a little. I darken up the stem a little more as well. The bottom of the leaf I will keep lighter, so just a light layer for that small part showing. If you've made it this far and have enjoyed coloring along with me or just watching these leaves come to life, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a like and subscribe to stay informed of when I post more videos. It really helps me out. Check out my blog posts on Patreon. I have a short write-up, my palettes, and a list of the chapter breaks, and they're available for everyone. If you have any questions or page requests, please leave them below or reach out to me on social media. I put a list of chapter breaks in the show notes, as well as a list of equipment I like to use. If you use any of my affiliate links, it really helps me out without costing you a thing. I post three times during the week, and subscribing is the best way to stay in the loop. Plus, if I post more free coloring pages, you'll be one of the first to know.
I bring back the permanent green olive and add more to the darker side of the leaf to bring up the contrast even more. I am darkening the whole side of the leaf to darken it all up, and I'm adding in a little along the other side edge, which will make the small highlight pop a little more. I also keep working on the stem, adding in more layers as I go. I want to work on the highlight a little, so I am coming in with the light green and adding in a light layer to the highlight, as well as the bottom of the leaf. For the shadows, I come back in with the dark green and work up the edges and shadow again as well as the stems. This little bit at the end helps make the leaf look like it is curling over a little into the center, which is cast in shadow. The highlight isn't very bright, but enough to give it some dimension.
onto the top right where I wanted to work up some of these pointed leaves. So I come in with a base layer of the permanent green olive over all of the leaves. I give them two layers since the first one was very light. With the dark green, I darken up the base of each leaf, darker at the bottom and lightening up the pressure a little to take it about a third of the way up. I will then blend everything together with the earth green yellowish, pressing a little harder than I normally would as I want to fill and blend in one shot. That will be all for today. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Let me know below or on social media if you colored along. I'd love to know how you did. I want to thank you all so much for coming along and joining in with me on this coloring journey. I appreciate all my subscribers and look forward to more of you joining in and coloring along with me. Please like, share, and subscribe to help that happen. Until next time, happy coloring!